Hi there, welcome back. And today we're talking about WWE and the return of The Rock. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty crazy. It was very unexpected um, for The Rock to come back. Like just on like normal SmackDown, you know, because we been expecting him to be at Royal Rumble or this past WrestleMania. Yeah. And he, or SummerSlam, to be honest, he never came. And uh, of course, out of the blue, he comes back on like SmackDown, which is pretty crazy for like people to be at, at, at that SmackDown. Yeah, because we always thought it'd be part of the bloodline. That's yeah. why he'll come back. But the thing is, I have to say about this is that it was actually kept secret. Yeah. Because usually when you know somebody's coming, there's already like signs in the audience that say, Welcome Rock or The Rock is back or something. Yeah. Or whatever's coming in. And there was nothing like that. And and when the reaction of the, the crowd was surprising. Yeah, I mean, they, that, the roof blocked that place, to be honest, they... It was a real loud pop for like for the for the for the rock there. Um, I mean, it was just pretty good. Um, I think it's not like the rock's back, you know. Of course, he he did that thing with Austin Theory the ring. I think it's like, are, are they going to try to make something out of this, like with the rock being back? Yeah, because there's been several celebrities, well, or several superstars that actually go with Austin Theory. So I wonder if this is going to be part of that, or he just came in. This is his introduction, and he's going to move on. But I'm curious to see what happens next. Yeah, because last time that I can think about it, when someone came back and they just left, was Christian back in 2020. Because the came, Bomber came back in the World Rumble. Okay, yes. And he were to, oh, he's back, he's, he's, he's returned. Then he left to AEW. They're like, wait, wait, what? Because <laughs> it was like, we all thought, I, at least I thought he was to be back in the company uh, after the return, but he just left the AEW like the day after, I think. Yeah, and and but do we really know that he's he's going to stay for a few weeks, or is this was just his one time in and out? Because Austin Theory was talking about the people, and about he doesn't care what they want, or is just or is he going to be here for a few weeks? Yeah. What What do you think? Uh, I'd say he's probably going to be here for a few weeks because John Cena's be going to be here for two months, not two weeks. But uh, I'd say we can have a little bit of John Cena rock action going on backstage or just in general you know because if he's going to be here for a few weeks then that might go into the bloodline because the blood the bloodline is on smackdown right? yeah with roman reigns so this might go into that maybe this is an introduction going that way or because he might be in the background and then the jimmy uso and the jay uso thing well not jay anymore but the jimmy uso sokoa and Roman Reigns, well, their family, he's going to be like, whoa, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, or they can just do the opposite and just have Rock and Theory face off. Like they hadn't seen in Theory at WrestleMania. Yes. Yes. They they can have that. But I'm just saying it might go into it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Even sure. though he's with Theory, but he might go also go into the bloodline. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Because, again, we always thought like he was going to come out. Or we actually thought it was... Uh, uh, Rokishi is yeah. going to come out. But at least we got one one part of the family, and this is a big name uh, to go with it. Yeah, I mean, in either way, whether, he, whether they, they do both, the Bud Light and Theory, or they do one thing, uh, it'll be great. All right, so say there is no Theory. Yeah. And he just comes in. Would there be somebody, a name that he wants that The Rock will go against? True. Either a one in the past or one now, because right now with this uh, the TKO, they're not hiring anybody new. No. So there's no new contract. So whoever is in there is going to be in there, or their special guest, which I'm sure they're not paying the Rock. He's just in there as a special guest. Yeah. So the thing now is, who would be that person if the Rock stays for a few weeks? Who's going to be the one matching up with the Rock? That's a pretty uh, good question there. To be honest, uh, there's going to be a lot of people backstage right now. They probably want to go against The Rock for their dream match or, like you said, or Legends too also. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, because Theory, I think, is having one hell of a career so far because think about it, you know, we had WrestleMania, I think, like two years ago or a year ago where Theory had Stone Cold. Then the following WrestleMania, he had John Cena. Now, uh, this yesterday or a couple days ago, he had The Rock. That's just three legends let alone. Yep. That three has gone against and it's stepping ring with. And we're still waiting on uh, the Viper. Oh, yeah. Randy Orton to see what's going on. You know, there's been rumors that he needs to hang it up, but there's, you know, it's just rumors. So 
I'm curious to see what exactly is going to happen with Austin, you know, with the Randy Orton. And with The Rock coming back, maybe this is a perfect time for him to come back too. Yeah, that'd be true. Because uh, there's so many things that could go on with this Rock thing. But uh, it's just very questionable. Yep. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen next. Hopefully we get something on next SmackDown. Or maybe he's going to go into Raw. We don't know. True. Uh, I, I mean, I do hope he's here to stay. I'm being honest. For like at least, not a long time, but you know, it's just for some time. Yeah. But uh, that's it for today. Because, well, well but before that, because you probably want him to stay because you're going to the show in October. Yeah. And John Cena's to be there. Yeah. So you might be able to see The Rock also at the same time. True. And your mom said to see if The Rock goes, he probably wants to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, because uh, uh, now I'm thinking about it, uh, now you're saying that I, I've been checking ever since The Rock returned on, uh, on the uh, AT&T Center page on like Instagram. Yeah. See if they put anything yet. Yeah, they haven't yet. All right. Because like, it was out of the blue because they posted something about John Cena on, the, on their page. He's going to be there. So I, I was trying to see if they did the same thing with The Rock. Yep. That'll be good. That would have been pretty cool also. Because I, I never saw The Rock in person, to be honest. I don't think so. I don't know. I know I've seen him. I've yeah. seen him in person. And I saw him uh, at a place I used to work for in Houston. He was coming out of the gym mm-hmm. when I was going in somewhere. I'm like, oh, there's The Rock right there. We were we, we talking about Pat McAfee. <laughs> He was really good also in there. <laughs> oh, that's right. Pat McAfee. Yeah, because he came out. That was a surprise too, right? Because he was, I, I, didn't, I didn't expect him to be there. And what was good about Pat McAfee was he was in the background just like enjoying everything. Yeah. Like he was in a moment, like he's actually witnessing The Rock do his promo, do his thing, do a, um, if you smell, whatever, all that. Yeah. So I think Pat, Pat McAfee was into it. And then he did a move, right? Well, he, he did a rock, uh, the people's elbow. Yeah. I mean, because Pat McAfee is also a fan favorite to the crowd, also with his commentation and everything. So I'm I'm sure Pat McAfee liked seeing The Rock do his people elbow, and like you said, he was able to also do the people's elbow on Austin Theory. Yeah, because I I do feel like Pat McAfee needs to get back on the commentation. I know he does his podcast and he covers uh, college football and everything, but if we can't, I want him to go back to, to commentation. Yeah, I don't know because it's football season, so yeah. we'll see how much time he has left. But uh, that's it for today's podcast. How about you guys enjoyed that one? Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Peace.